Members of the clergy and Anglican community extended congratulations to the newly ordained suffragan Bishop of Camarang, the Right Reverend Alfred David, in this Jalissa Heiner's report. The Anglican Diocese of Guyana, on Tuesday, August 24th, ordained and consecrated its third suffragan bishop, the Right Reverend Alfred David, at the St. George's Cathedral in Georgetown. After the service concluded, this newscast interviewed members of the clergy who extended congratulations to the newly ordained suffragan bishop. Reverend Ezra Minty, priest in charge of the St. Margaret's Parish, Skeldon, extended congratulations on behalf of his parish. I would like to extend our congratulations to Bishop Alfred David on becoming the third suffragan bishop and the first Amerindian bishop in our diocese. I wish him all success in his future endeavor and we continue to pray for him as a church family. Reverend Theodore Demonic, in his congratulatory speech, expressed positive sentiments about the day. So on behalf of uh, the congregation, the Vestian congregation at St. Augustine and St. Mary's, we are offering our congratulations to Bishop Alfred. Um, we will continue to pray for him as he do for us. It's a happy day for us and we are blessed to have another bishop being ordained in our beloved diocese. Deacon Frederick Henry also extended congratulations to Bishop Alfred David. I'd like to extend congratulations to our Lordship now, Alfred, uh, on this step and being the first, the first indigenous bishop for our country. It's an achievement to behold. It's, it's a great thing for our diocese also. Mistress Sharon Harper, Mother's Union Worldwide President, recollected on Bishop Alfred's work ethics over the years. This is a very special moment for me, Father Alfred David, and I have worked together for years in the Potaro area where we ministered to the people there and we started the Mother's Union there together. It is, I say it's a special moment because throughout our many years of friendship as ministers in this diocese he has always been a very humble man very caring nurturing he loves to nurture people spiritually he is a man of the people whenever i think of father alfred david i just think of someone who takes off his sandals and walks bare feet doing the work of God just like Jesus did. Mistress Harper then wished Bishop Alfred best wishes on his journey ahead. I extend, extend the heartfelt congratulations to him and he and his family will be in my prayers as they embark on this new journey in Christ. Mistress Harper further noted I want to say thank you to these lovely two ladies here with me from Devs. You guys have been doing a fantastic job. I watched you throughout the ceremony and you took pictures of every single thing. You were there all the time. Thank you and God bless you too as you both continue in this ministry of sharing good work like this. The Right Reverend Alfred David Bishop of Camarang revealed these details when asked about his thoughts in that moment. The many challenges that I know that is ahead of me. And uh, first of all, I have in mind to sit down and have a conference or a meeting with these parish priests. Um, again, mainly in the interior areas. And to discuss and see the challenges and see how best we can work through them. You know, to sort of make this diocese move forward at least something more. Bishop David then spoke on the main challenges in the interior regions and how he is hoping to overcome them. Communication, transportation are two of the main challenges we have in the interior. Well, you know, today we're in modern technology, so if we can get, you know, these sort of equipment or whatever case may be in these interiors, um, in, in connection with transportation, have more ATVs and that sort of thing, because the terrain, you know, is difficult, it's rough. So we need these ATVs to 
sorry, improving our transportation system. The Anglican Diocese of Guyana, on Tuesday, August 24th, also celebrated its 179th anniversary, which is marked with the patronal festival of St. Bartholomew. Reporting from St. George's Cathedral in Georgetown, I am Julissa Hines.